There's been a couple of things that have been bothering me about the exterior look of our truck. One of those things is being the grill. It's lost its shine, it's got some scratches in it, and a lot of the black is starting to fade away. So I started looking at some new replacement grills, but they can be pretty pricey, and I think by putting a brand new shiny grill on this truck, it's gonna be pretty out of place. So we're gonna go ahead, remove the grill that's on the truck now, shine it up a little bit, respray some of those black spots, and then hopefully in the end, we'll have a better looking grill. So the first step of our process here is going to be to remove the front bumper. So we're gonna remove all of these bolts here and then we'll pop off the front bumper and start working on the grill next. Now with all the hardware removed, we can go ahead and remove the front bumper. Sometimes when removing these, it can be a little tricky because the bolts will actually get stuck in the mounting holes. So you can use a rubber mallet to go ahead and tap the front bumper off. So after you have the bumper removed, we're gonna go ahead and start removing the hardware for the grill. Now when doing this, it's always a good idea to start removing the hardware from the bottom and then working your way up top. If you do it the opposite way, more than likely, once you start to unloosen the bottom hardware, the grill's just gonna end up falling out and probably onto you. So let's go ahead, remove the bottom bolts first, and then we'll get to the top. So now you'll go ahead and remove the hardware that's in the top portion of the grill. You'll have two bolts that are on this side of the fender over here, and then two on this side as well. And then you'll have three up top. Once those are all removed and your side markers are removed, you'll be able to go ahead and pull the grill away from the truck. So we got the grill out now. As you can see, with getting the grill out, it can be a little tricky. So grab a rubber mallet and just tap on each corner until it starts to break free a little bit. Now we're gonna throw this thing on the table, get it shined up, get it sprayed up, and uh, hopefully get it looking a lot better than what it does now. So now that the grill is on the table, we're gonna go ahead and break it down. We're gonna remove all the plastics, the side markers, because it's gonna make our life a lot easier.
As you can see, we got the grill fully broken down. So now we're gonna go ahead and mask off the areas that we don't wanna paint. We got the grill all masked and taped off. Now what we're gonna do is take a Brillo pad to it, scuff up some of this old paint, and then get ready for the new paint. As you can see, we got the surface all scuffed up. We don't need to take this down to a bare metal since we're gonna be respraying a black over it, but now we're gonna go ahead and clean the entire grill, get any residue or debris off of there, and then we'll go ahead and get to painting. Well, we got the grill all prepped and ready to be sprayed. Went ahead and grabbed some of our CJ Pony Parts trim black. Gonna get this sprayed up, let it dry, and then check out the final results afterwards. Okay, so we got the first coat done. We're gonna go ahead and let this dry for about 15, 20 minutes, and then come back again with our second coat. While the grill is drying off on the side, I went ahead, grabbed the inner plastic piece, scuffed it up and cleaned it, and we're gonna go ahead and spray this as well. All right, so our first coat is done drying, so we're gonna go ahead, repeat the process, and start our second coat. Well, we got the grill all painted. Now we're gonna go ahead and demask it and then get it ready for polishing.
All right, now that all the masking tape is off, we're gonna go ahead and grab our polish and then get started on polishing this. After a little bit of elbow grease to really brought back some of the shine in this grill, obviously there's still some imperfections in it, but like I said, we weren't going for that mere perfect look. It's time to go ahead and start reassembling the grill, and then once we're done reassembling it, we'll meet you back at the front of the C10. All right, so as you guys can see, I got the grill all reassembled. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw it back on the C10 and see how it looks. One thing that I noticed when putting the grill back onto the truck, if you go ahead and actually remove the headlight covers, it'll make the job a lot easier. I gotta say I'm pretty happy with the overall outcome of the grill. With a little bit of time and less than $80 spent, we were able to revive this grill and bring it back to life. Now the front end of our C10 is looking a lot better and we didn't have to spend that big price tag to do so. It's time to drop a gear and disappear, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, check out the link in the description for all your classic truck part needs.